Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. If you haven't checked out any of the other previous videos, please do. They are really great. In the last video, we finished researching fuel processing and ship manufacturing, and Hacksaw mixed those two together to get our Finch-class uh, scout ship right here, this gray ship right down here. In this video, we're going to be sending that out into the deep reaches of space. That's our flashing objective here. And we're going to see what's going on in the world. So let's go ahead and start by assigning our pilot, Marimba, to the ship. So he will come on down here and get in, and we will send this out to... Oh, we are out of ice. All right, so let's get up here, and we're going to buy some ice while Marimba works his way towards the ship and we're gonna buy as much of this ice as we can because we are in desperate need of it so let's buy about 75 ice because we need that for water and fuel actually let's just go ahead and buy a hundred ice it's pretty cheap right now there we go nice hundred ice that should keep us well protected or you know a little good storage while we build up some more all right so marimba is looks like he's heading his way towards the ship in our Finch class scout ship. And he's getting in, there we go. So let's hop over to our map. So this is the planet we're currently around, Savin. And let's um, let's head over here and explore uh, Luverico. Yeah, we'll go ahead and explore Luverico. Um, so we will go to this and we will launch it. And let's head over to Luverico and we will scout it. All right, so he will take off in the Finch while he is heading that way, I wanted to do a couple of other things in our station. Uh, our bedrooms, we got one left, so let's go ahead and continue to expand the number of bedrooms we have. So as we grow, oops, we don't have enough aluminum. All right, so we will have to wait for our aluminum. We got plenty of aluminum ore, 99 aluminum ore, and we've only got two aluminum, so we'll start to make some more of that as well. So I guess we can't quite expand our bedrooms just yet just to give you a quick tour of the station if you haven't watched any of the videos uh we started with a nice stack column oh here we go all right let's see what marimba has to say an unexpected find tooth one this is scout vessel the finch come in copy the finch go ahead sir as per my assignment i've just finished scanning the surface a Luverico, for mineral deposits and well captain there's a spacecraft down there. A spacecraft? Of what origin, the Finch? The pattern isn't in our database, sir. No life signs. If I had to hazard a guess, looks like an escape pod or emergency craft of some kind to me. What makes you say that, Marimba? Well, it's a pretty small craft, sir. Not much room for crew or cargo. Not much of a propulsion system either, from what I can see. Looks mainly to be braking and maneuvering thrusters of some kind. I'd say it's not meant to achieve orbit from the surface. There's some debris around the craft on the planet's surface. Can't really tell what most of it is, but there appears to be a deployed parachute still attached to the craft. That sounds like a fair guess, the Finch. How do surface conditions look for attempting planet fall? I thought you'd never ask, Captain. The surface conditions on Luverico are well within the Finch's capabilities for entry. Should I get the fi flight computer working on a solution? If you think it's safe enough, we sure would like to know what's down there. Copy that, Tooth One. Nav will take a little while to work out trajectories. I'll leave the channel open so you can monitor entry. We'll check back in when boots are on the ground, sir. Stay safe, the Finch, and good luck. So it sounds like we're going to be landing our Finch scout ship on the planet Eluverico. Uh, that is an interesting find, and it will be advancing our story, I imagine. So we're waiting for that. We're waiting to get a little bit of aluminum. We've already made six, seven aluminum right there. Um, so I think my plan is to build uh, one bedroom here and one bedroom here. And that will give us a total of three open bedrooms um, as we expand our Meeple Station. The other thing I would like to eventually... Oh, an unexpected find again. Captain Toothbud, this is the Finch. Copy. Copy the Finch. I've made a... Successful plant fall and put down about a hundred meters away from the landing site. On initial inspection of the site, I get the impression that this wasn't a crash. Landing seems purposeful. Craft is intact. There's a bunch of equipment set up all around the site. 
got some come say yeah, got some kind of parabolic antenna pointed skywards and probably comms gear. All the equipment's dead. The rest of it, well, sir, to put it plainly, I'm not a scientist. I couldn't speculate as to its purpose. Are there any markings on the craft? The craft itself and the equipment are marked with writing that, well, it seems to be something like the Savian alphabet, but it's all gibberish to me, sir. I don't recognize any of the words. Take some images of the site and markings to relay to mission control, Marimba. Will do, Captain. The more I look, everything here's been sitting here in the elements for a long, long time, sir. I'm going to check out the craft ramps down and hatch is wide open. Copy, Marimba. There's a single crash seat here, some cargo storage which is now completely empty, and not much else. The craft's control was probably automated. I don't see any physical controls to speak of. Crafts dead in the water, dust caked into everything. There are lines running out of a terminal and down the ramp. Probably power for the equipment outside at a guess. Hey, hang on, Tooth One. Go ahead. Sir, there appears to be a cave in a rocky outcropping a few hundred meters away with some kind of artificial structure built into the mouth. Hard to make out any details from here. Go check it out, Marimba. Time passes. It's a temporary airlock. No doubt about it. Some kind of clear polymer membrane is adhered to the rock wall all the way around. Two layers, each with a door. Some equipment set up on the inside. The membrane seems to have given up the ghost, though. Both are left open. I'm going in the cave. May lose signal. Over. Be careful, Marimba. After several minutes. Sir, there's some kind of sealed, suspiciously meeple-shaped pod or something in here. I don't know what's in there, and it doesn't seem to have power. I, uh, probably shouldn't open it without a proper atmosphere, just in case. I'm going to drag it back to the ship and load up everything else I can, and the station scientists can figure out how best to handle all of this when I return. You read my mind, the Finch. Good work. See you shortly. That is interesting. So it sounds like Marimba has found a, a crashed, crashed ship on the uh, next planet. You know, if we remember from the first episode, they talked about there was a, a myth that meeples have already been up in the stars, but to the best of our knowledge, we haven't. So we'll have to wait for Marimba to get back so we can uh, see what's going on with that sarcophagus. Do we have enough aluminum to continue? Okay, we got 15 aluminum, so let's go ahead and start expanding this other bedroom up here while we wait for the finch and that sarcophagus to get back. So we'll go ahead and indicate that for expansion there. Uh, the other thing that we'll eventually need to build, and there's the finch landing, um, is eventually we need to make sure we get a guard station up as we progress. An unexpected find. The scout ship, the finch, has returned with an artifact retrieved from Luvicro. A unique research project has been added to your research panel. Sweet! All right, so let's go ahead and start the research of the ancient pod. Looks like we made a pretty good dent on breathing apparatus. Turn that back to fast speed there. All right, see, let's see what we can get from vigorously applied sciences. Do a little trade with them. Got plenty of ice now, plenty of carbon. Let's see, do they have any aluminum we could buy? They do not have any aluminum. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see here. We could buy the fine meals off them. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and buy these two lavish meals. Let's go ahead and sell them some some fish because we got ample fish and we'll sell oops we'll sell it so they have 30 fish and then uh i think we'll leave it at that it's a nice little trade there i think our meeples are all doing doing pretty well everyone's green lit so that's good let's go ahead and take finch or excuse me marimba out of the finch since we don't need him to be piling that right now and we'll give him this bedroom. All right, there we go. And we w built this, so we'll have to put our walls in over here. So graded hall wall, and we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll put the door in right there, perfect. And then let's put in, I think we can do, let's do a glass bed. I just wanna see what that looks like. And we'll rotate that the correct way, there we go. Lacking dining. I don't think we should lack too much dining. We got eight tables. I think it was just a momentary everyone was there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna build this glass bed. I think the glass bed has a uh, you know higher bonus, a higher boost than just the regular bed. 
Uh, so let's see what happens as we finish building this room. We'll continue expanding it this way, obviously, and we'll put the plan in. So we got that glass bed there. Uh, do we have enough aluminum to continue expanding? All right, we do. So let's go ahead and put the next row, those two rows in just like that. And that'll be a nice bedroom. And we'll get our plant in there in a few minutes as well. Let's check our research here. All right, we are almost done researching the ancient pod, 37 out of 50. So that is good. Hacksaw is out there expanding that bedroom. So since he built that, let's um, put in the plant. And we were using that one, so potted plant. And we'll put that potted plant right there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Got another trade vessel coming in. Let's see what they got. All right, we got plenty of ice, plenty of carbon. You got any meals we could buy off them? Yeah, we'll buy their fine and lavish meals. And we'll sell them some fish and some vegetables here. There we go. And we'll sell a little bit more fish. Okay, anything else? We'll sell them some biomass. We'll sell them five biomass. All right, unexpected find. Well, Captain, we've opened up the life pod brought back from Luverico. The power gave out a long time ago, and the occupant is long deceased. But... It's without a doubt the remains of a meeple. We've never had any crude missions to Luverico. Exactly, sir. We did not. However, when I said a long, long time ago, what I meant to say is that the remains are old enough that we were compelled to do a radiocarbon dating on them to find out just how old they are, Toothbud. The remains are over 8,000 years old. That can't be possible. That's what we said, so we did it three more times, and at least a dozen times more on the various components of the equipment that the Finch brought back, all with nearly identical results. I can't believe it. The Teller's legend is true. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it may appear to be so. Do you have any idea what this means, Captain? These remains are dated for a time in our history before we as a species even were even close to spacefaring which means at one time we were already spacefaring and somehow lost that ability so long ago that we don't remember it anymore. I have a hard time wrapping my head around all this. When the scientific community puts together the Savin geology contained no evidence of meeples more than a few hundred years ago and renewed the public's fancy with the Teller's myth, I honestly didn't think it much stock. I was just thankful to get some proper funding in the aerospace sector for once, Toothbud. I honestly can't think of another explanation for this, besides that there was actually something to the teller's tale. Meeples aren't originally from Savin. We have to collect what we have and transmit it home. This is the recommendation of the science wing as well, Captain. Please see to it. Yes, sir. Ah, Captain, one more thing before I go. We haven't fully translated the ancient writing yet, but we figured out enough of it to pull an origin from the spacecraft found on Luverico. Out on the edge of Varico system, past Ganope, even. We've simulated uh, the passage of time since radiocarbon dating and have a rough estimation of where to look presently to find whatever this craft originated from. A new location has been added to your map. Thank you and great work. So it sounds like we need to send Marimba past um, Lou Varico on the edge of Varico system, past Ganope, uh, and we'll see what's out there. So let's go ahead. And um, we'll get breathing apparatus going again. And we will add him to the ship. And let's send Feather as well. So he has someone with a sidearm. And I want to make sure they're both well protected on this trip. Anything else we want to trade with them? We've uh, bought all their meals, sold them some fish, sold them some vegetables. Our vegetables are getting a little low. So maybe we'll have to build some more hydroponics over here. So let's see what we need for hydroponics, because I have forgotten since then. All right, uh, five aluminum and biomass. So yeah, we can go ahead and put another hydroponic right there. And when we get one more aluminum, we'll put one right there as well. So we can continue to grow our vegetables. Let's see, they have not made their way to the ship yet, but we need to hook up water lines to that. So water, and we'll go ahead and build that water line right there under our vent. They are still not in the ship. We'll give them a few more minutes. 
And then we'll try that again. All right. Marimba's using the bathroom. Hopefully he uses the bathroom and then makes his way. All right, let's try that one more time. Oops, ship. Marimba, let's see if he starts heading that way. It was full up on fuel. He's enjoying his last meal on the station, maybe. Hopefully now he starts to head that way. There we go, I saw a little ship icon flash above his head. No, he doesn't want to head that way? What's going on, bud? Maybe I'm just being impatient. It's got plenty of fuel. Marimba, let's try that again. Where is he at? Is he coming up here to sleep? Research complete. So we finished researching breathing apparatus. Let's go ahead and unlock clearance levels next. Has he come down to the ship yet? Eh, nothing yet. I don't know what he's waiting on. Another trade ship coming in. Let's see what they got. All right, they have... We're doing good on ice. We're doing good on carbon. We can buy some aluminum off them. It's only two credits each. That's pretty cheap. So let's buy all their aluminum. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and sell them some fish. And we're going to keep our vegetables. Uh, and then we'll sell them a little bit of biomass as well. Actually, let's keep that at 10. All right, that's a good trade. And then let's go ahead and build that other hydroponic right here. Perfect. So that water line should connect between it. All right, well, Feather keeps giving the question mark. I don't know why they they keep doing that. Like, they can't get to the ship. I don't know what's blocking their pathing. Idle. No, they should be heading towards the ship. Boarding ship, there we go. Let's see if he makes his way down there. Down the ladder he goes. And into the ship. Perfect. All right, so let's see if we can now get Feather on there as well. So let's go find Feather. Actually, no, let's not send Feather. Because um, we need to keep an officer here. So I lied. Let's just go ahead and go to ship. And we're going to launch. So we need to head out past... Luverco here and we got to go find was it Ganapi? All right, Ganapi. So we got to go past that. So I'm guessing it's this space station here. It's going to cost us about 20 liters of fuel to get there and it's pretty far away. So let's go ahead and scout it. Tooth One Station. This is Mission Control over. We read you, Chug. Go ahead. Toothbud, these data packets you've sent us. I can't believe what I'm reading here. I know, believe me. We're right there with you. The implication of this are staggering. I've got to get all of this over to the research wing and linguistics. Linguistics. You mentioned uh, you may have insight on the origin of the craft. Yeah, we're just sent a scout ship to find whatever we can. Good. Keep us appraised, Toothbud. I've got a lot of meeple to talk to. We'll get back to in touch when I have something for you. Thanks, Chug, and we'll do. So end transmission. All right. So Marimba is on his way. There he goes, goodbye. Now I wanna see if we can see our ship on the map. Uh, apparently we can't scroll, the oh there we go. Okay, so we can't see our ship heading that way. That would've been kinda of cool to see. That's all right. So Marimba is heading towards that unknown space station. And let's make sure we're keeping our rooms nice and expanded. So that's at modest, that's at modest. I was hoping with the glass bed we'd have a little bit more of a buff, but I guess not. Let's go ahead and build another bedroom over here. So that'll give us two fully open bedrooms because Marimba technically has this one over here. So let's uh, go ahead and craft that. So we were a little bit short, so we need eight more aluminum to finish that bedroom, but that's okay. That'll give Hacksaw something to do. Got both those hydroponics up and running, so hopefully now we start to have plenty of vegetables for our chef vacuum uh, to continue to cook us fantastic meals. What's Kiwi up to? He seems to be kind of lost. He's just uh, doing his work orders, I guess. 
vitals of our station doing good. Got plenty of oxygen. Power we're starting to run a little low on, so maybe we want to start thinking about expanding our solar panel over here as we build this station for our meeples. No advanced electricity yet. Fuel we're doing good on. Plenty of water. Poo, we got plenty of it either being processed in the waste processor or being ejected out of the station and plenty of oxygen in the station itself. So let's see what pickle and pickaxe have to trade with us. Uh, we can buy some aluminum off them. We'll buy all their aluminum because that's still cheap. And then let's also buy their meals, at least their fine and lavish meals. There we go. And then let's sell them some biomass. Sell that. And then that will be the end of the trading with them. All right, lack of dining, which I just don't believe because um, we've got plenty of table space. We might need to build another, uh, maybe we should put a vending machine right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, or detection. So we'll go ahead and start researching that. So let's go to modules and we'll go to food dispenser and let's just put another one right there so they can have two places to get food and hopefully start using that table. Tooth one station. This is Finch. Over. Receiving. Go ahead, the Finch. Tooth one. Upon reaching mission coordinates, a thorough scan was conducted as per request. You're not going to believe this, Captain, but there's a spacecraft out here. A couple thousand kilometers off estimate, but it's there. It's a stable varicone orbit, but it's uh, definitely dead in the water. No power, no life signs. If we haven't known where to look, we probably would have never found it. Describe the craft, the finch. It's big, Tooth One. At least a couple hundred meters long. Two large spherical sections on the front with a rotary wing ring segment behind it. Huge thruster section behind that. The whole thruster section is ripped up pretty bad. From what little I can see of inside the damaged section, it looks like bulkhead doors have sealed off the decompressurized compartments. I don't know what happened to it, but the damage is extensive. They probably limped here from wherever they came from. Definitely an emergency situation. Is there any obvious access to the interior of the finch? I see a few things that look like docking collars, but it's definitely not the kind we use. I could go extra vehicular and check it out, but I feel like... I feel better about it if we got an actual team down here. In fact, this might be above Tooth One Station's pay grade entirely. This thing is massive. Copy that, the Finch. For now, we note the exact position, vector, and velocity, the craft, and return to the station. We'll call home and work out the next step. We'll do, Tooth One, over and out. All right, so that is the end of the transmission and transmitting data down planet side. Well, that is, uh, that is interesting. We, uh, we've done quite a bit of research. We found that body down on the planet of Luverico, and that led us to a large spaceship or spacecraft craft very, very far away. So I think this might be a, a good time to go ahead and end the episode. Don't forget to like the video, comment, you know, what's going on? What do you think you guys, what do you think is going to happen with this uh, new space station or spacecraft we're finding way out there? And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Tooth and Scrubs Gaming channel. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video. And I'll leave you with this as a little teaser.